Hey everyone, I'm back with part two of my review of Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Now, as I was saying, uh, Optimus does die, but during the film, and what happens is, like I say, Sam tells, um, I can't think of the guy's name right now, but tells the Nest guys and the Autobots, hey, bring Optimus to Egypt. Find a way to bring him to Egypt. We may have a way to revive him. So what happens is they finally end up finding uh, the temple where the matrix of leadership that Jetfire told him about is uh, located. Sorry about that. It's located. But as they get to the matrix, it turns to death. So, but Sam still believes it could help revive Optimus. Now, what happens next is that just as they just as they send out the signal, Soundwave, who I guess you say hacked in on it, okay, and can hear the signals, find out what's going on, is able to alert the other De Megatron and the other Decepticons and the Fallen, who is now free because of Prime's death, come down to where e come down to Egypt and basically start attacking because now they know where the Matrix is. And I don't know if I mentioned in part one, but Jetfire does tell Sam that the Fallen used to be one of the original Primes, and that because he betrayed his brothers, the Primes had to basically seal off the Harvester and the Matrix in a temple made out of their own body. Anyway, as I'm anyway, like I was saying, uh, what happens is Decepticons, thanks to Soundwave, hear what's going on, end up heading to Egypt just at the same time the Autobots are to meet up with the others. And what happens is a big old battle ensues. And during this battle, uh, we do see the formation of Devastator, who looks a lot more different than he does in the cartoon, because in the cartoon he's all straight and green and everything, you know. But he is like a gorilla, he's got a section thing and everything. And uh, he starts sucking up sand, he starts beating down on a pyramid where the Sun Harvester is hidden. And just as all this is occurring, Sam ends up getting killed during battle thanks to a big old, I think, bomb or something dropped down by the Decepticons. And he is sent, as many people have put it, to Robot Heaven where he meets up with the, where he meets with the, where he meets the original Primes for the first time. And they tell him that the Matrix of Leadership is Earth. And that Sam has proven himself, in the, you know, worthy enough as a leader that he has earned the Matrix. So Sam is able to go back to the world of the living, if you will, and revive Prime. So just as he, so what he does is he takes the matrix, which all of a sudden goes from being dust, being back to what it was, to its original design, not the design we see in the cartoon or the movie, but a totally different design, which is sort of like, uh, <laughs> like this a little bit, you know. Uh, but anyway, they take, he takes the matrix, basically shoves it in right into Optimus's chest, revives Optimus, but just as he does that, uh, the Fallen who, like I said, was freed because Optimus is dead and you know, is part of this battle, steals the Matrix, takes it to where the Sun Harvester is, connects the Sun Harvester, and connects it to the Sun Harvester and starts to try to drain uh, the, the energy from the Sun. Now, I know that sounds a little familiar, like, you know, it sounds like uh, what we saw in the Rebirth, at the end of Rebirth, in the original T1 Transformers. But anyway, what happens is that Jetfire notices that Prime, even though he's revived and everything, still doesn't have the power and strength to take on the Fallen. So Jetfire says, hey, take my spark, take my parts. So he offers up his parts, his spark and his parts to Optimus. Optimus and, well, he ends up sacrificing himself, basically. And Optimus basically transforms into this big or more powerful Optimus Prime. Sort of like, you know, just huge. And he ends up beating down on the Decepticons, Megatron, Starscream, and the other Decepticons. Uh, doing this, Devastator uh, is destroyed thanks to the, I, I don't know, some kind of secret weapon that the Navy or the Army had that Simmons called in on. And uh, what happens is that, like I said, he ends up Optimus, you know, doing all this. Also, like I said, just, you know, beats the hell out of Megatron, beats the hell out of Starscream and the other Decepticons goes one-on-one -on -one with the Fallen, has a battle with him, and then ends up destroying him, beating him by basically ripping his head off or blowing his head off or do, stabbing him right through the head. 
and uh, Megatron and Starscream seeing this retreat back into space. Hey, so Megatron saying this isn't over, so that means we're going to have a third film. Anyway, what happens is that uh, at the end of the film, we see them on top of a Navy ship. Oh, and during all this, Michaela and Sam do finally confess that they love each other. They finally say the three words. And uh, what happens next, like I said, towards the end, is we see Optimus and Sam on top of this Navy ship with the other Autobots and allies and humans. And then we hear Optimus again, just like in the, at the end of the first film, giving an invitation out to the other Autobots that are out there to join him and the others on Earth because the histories are intertwined with the humans. But, uh, overall, it was, but overall, I have to say that Transformers Revenge of the Fallen was a very good film, lived up to what everybody was talking about, lived up to being the masterpiece that people are saying that it is. And I'm not going to be surprised if it's nominated for not just special effects next year, but if it's put in the best picture category, that would be a surprise. But uh, overall, a very good film. Uh, from what I understand, Michael Bay, from what we hear, is going to take maybe a year or two off. and. Possibly by 2012 we'll have the third one, so we have to wait three years. But uh, overall, just a very good film. Um, definitely worth uh, the price of admission. Uh, I loved seeing all the new Autobots and Decepticons come in. Um, I'm not sure if the RC twins, if two of them were destroyed or one of them was destroyed. I don't think they were. I don't know, because the blue one survived, so the others have to survive as well. And Bumblebee, despite what some people say on Wikipedia or anywhere else, was not killed, so he's still alive. But uh, overall, a very good film. Um, Ravage was killed in the film, so. But overall, very good film, and I suggest if you have not seen this movie yet, if you've not seen it, go and see it. You will enjoy it. Trust me, you will. I give it 10 out of 10. And that's all I can say on my two-part, I guess you can say, review of Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Hope you enjoyed it. God bless, and I'll talk to you all later.